YouTube, YouTube, what's up? Trucking with Medlock, squad boss. Medlock Truck the Transportation out here in Seattle, Washington. Snowing like a mug out here, man. It's not a game. It's supposed to get uh, a little worse as the day goes on. I actually had to get out the, uh, the snow socks. Uh, the, the chain law is in effect out here, so. Um, it's about uh, seven in the morning. We actually got shut down last night. Um, so I talked to the trooper just now and they said it's supposed to get worse. Uh, they're pulling any and everybody over that's not chained up or, or socked up. And uh, yeah, getting people off the road. So I'll probably uh, throw this clip in there in a little while once I get to the safe spot to stop. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all. I'm out here keeping the rubber side down, being safe. Uh, the socks I put on, it was fairly easy. Uh, we'll see how they hold up. It's my first time doing it, so uh, it was recommended that over the chains. Obviously, the socks are a lot lighter, um, but more expensive. So I don't plan on driving that much. I just want to get off the road and get to probably a truck stop or something like that, or at least out of the state of Washington. So I'll get back with y'all soon. Y'all be safe. Keep that rubber side down. What's up, guys? Struggling with Metalock Squad, boss. So the weather cleared up a little bit. Um... And I want to show y'all how the uh, socks held up. They're pretty much, I should have did this before, but pretty much you take them out of the package and they literally fit over the tire by elastic. So it's elastic here and it's elastic back there on the other side that actually uh, wraps around. So you put one side on uh, as much as you can and then you roll forward until the other side is up and then you literally just wrap it around like a sock. Um, so I got a set on the tire trailers and I put a set on both my drives. Um, and I don't know if they're made to you know, be used more than once. They look like they held up. Um, so, you know, a little probably a little tear there but for the most part it looks like it held up um but yeah i don't i don't know if it's made to use more than once um i probably could use these again uh if you know i needed to or if i came across some more snow but the weather looked like it's lightening up uh the road they've been a good job plowing and stuff like that so i will probably compile um uh, you know not compile but put these videos together uh, when I started this morning and uh, probably, you know, say something else about, you know, a small review of the snow socks. So with Prime, you got to have, well, DOT says you have to have chains or snow socks. Um, a lot of people like going with the chains. Some people like going with the snow socks because it's easy to put on. Um, but it is, I think the snow socks cost more. It's like $575 um, total for the amount that you need. So. But other than that, guys, I looks like I made it out of this the snow for now. Uh, about to take these off and um, yeah, get to a fuel station so I can uh, put fuel in my reefer. I got fuel last night before we rolled, but uh, the pump shut off, so I wasn't able to get fuel in the reefer. Uh, other than that, y'all, I'm, I'm still good. Y'all be safe. Keep that rubber side down. You too. You too. What's up? Medlock truck and the transportation. Oh yeah, working our way down from uh, Seattle, Washington, with uh, 45,000 pounds of uh, yellow potatoes uh, that I picked up. And uh, Seattle is one of the places when, uh, that was on my list I wanted to go to, and uh, I finally got a chance to get up there. And lo and behold, I got hit with all that snow. Uh, which up there, I mean, I guess it's normal to everybody. Uh, they're used to it and driving through it. Uh, to all the truckers that, that drive through that stuff on a regular basis, man, more power to you. Do your thing, but that ain't for me. Uh, I made it through, though. You know, I had a chance to, it was a chain-up law in effect. So I had a chance to, uh, you know, chain up or sock up. Uh, per DOT, you're supposed to have a set of chains or a set of socks on your truck. Uh, and they did have the law in effect at that time. 
Um, so going back east, 90 east, the weather is supposed to continue to get bad up that way. Uh, but I'm headed to Massachusetts, literally coast to coast, like literally. Um, over 3,000 miles, uh, got my student with me. Um, yeah, that's going good. That's uh, <laughs> interesting. Um, you know, he's, like I said, he's, I guess he's new. When, he, when I asked him when did he drive, um, you know, I was under the impression it was recently, but uh, it was over like 15 years ago. So just trying to get him in the, in the you know, back in the flow of things of, uh, you know, checking the truck and driving and being careful what to look for and stuff like that. Uh, trying to build the stamina is a big thing. Uh, he's not used to uh, being up. So I've had him, started him at night. Uh, I didn't like what I saw. Uh, so I switched it. Uh, I was able to switch it when we were in Utah. So I had him drive during the day. Not really any much different. Um, I think it's more of the lines of just being comfortable. Um, but like I said, it's week one. Um, still got my patience and stuff like that. So I just keep, gotta just keep trying to do some different uh, approaches when it comes to um, the training stuff, um, how to drive, what to look for, um, the macro stuff, you know, a lot of things when it comes to like the Qualcomm and stuff like that, that you would think after like three or four days, you know, you would, you would get it. Um, but I find myself repeating myself quite often, but like I said, he's, he's, he hasn't driven in a while. So, um, you know, I'm not going to give up on him. So cool guy, not, not, nothing, uh, nothing bad to say about him, but everybody learns different. And, you know, I had to learn that too and, and be willing to accept that. Um, you know, when you're training, you got to be open to uh, people's learning patterns. So if everybody learns different and they take in information different. But yeah, other than that, uh, I'm still in Washington, working my way out of Washington. I'm almost in Oregon, actually. Uh, but I had to stop, take my 30 minute break. I took the snow socks off. Uh, I guess they did his job. I'm not sure if it's you know, made to be used more than once. One of them ripped already. Uh, and the other ones are torn kind of like along the seam of the tires but uh yeah made it work i'm safe still alive that rubber side is still down dirty as shit though truck dirty that ain't me you know what i mean i ain't used to all that but the truck is good so i will get that bar um you know, once I get a chance to get to a blue beacon or something, keep track of the weather first. But, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, probably in the maybe in the beginning. So if you see it in the beginning, that's the videos, or I might put them at the end of uh, the snow, the uh, socks, and you know my review on them. A little short review, uh, but I can tell you now, the socks are more expensive. Uh, Prime sells them. They're like, you know, over $500 for the sets that you need three sets. Total over $500. You know, chains, when you get from Prime, they're used. But they're, I mean, chains are chains. Unless they're like rusted, you know, you can you reuse chains over and over again. Um, they're a lot heavier and they're probably harder to put on. So, I'm, I guess I need to get some chains and see how I like that rather than doing the socks. Uh, the socks literally take them out the pack, put them over the wheel, move forward, and put the other side on the other side, and then you up and rolling. So, you know, a set of socks you can put on in probably about 15, 20 minutes to get, you know, both drives and your a set of trailer wheels. So, but other than that, guys, yeah, uh, made it through the snow, uh, headed to Massachusetts. So, We'll probably stop in Springfield if we got time. I got a lot of time on this load, but it's 3,000 miles still, so. Other than that, y'all be good. Keep that rubber side down.